I just bought an 80 year old lady's entire craft supply collection and we're opening it one bit at a time. All right, let's take a look at what we got. I'm very excited to open this box first because there's a bunch of different markers in here and I'm definitely going to go through them and see what I want to keep. Looks like those are recollections from Michael's. Um, we also have some jelly rolls in gold and silver, which makes me think there's going to be more colors hidden somewhere else. Um, these are Burke fine liners. I'm actually not familiar with these. I haven't used them myself, but definitely interested in seeing what those are about. And Sharpies. Love me some good Sharpies. Looks like there's a bunch of different colors in here. Bold color Sharpies. Okay. And looks like some colored pencils in this one. These are dupes, which makes me think we're going to find a ton more. These are from Royal and Langnickel. I don't know if all of them are. I do have a customer that's looking for a Prisma, so we'll keep an eye out for those. And since this is the first video, I should probably introduce myself. So my name is Stephanie, and I own a secondhand art and craft supply shop. All the items we get are traded in from customers, so it's basically stuff people don't want anymore, and they get store credit. But this time, we made an exception and bought an 80-year-old lady's collection. She has to move in with her daughter, and so she has to leave her entire collection behind. It's really heart-wrenching to see her have to go through the process of getting rid of everything, but we took everything. We bought it from her. She's super nice. She's letting us make monthly payments since, again, we normally take trade-ins, and I'm going through and obviously picking a few things I want for my own collection and then selling the rest in my shop. So uh, this is going to be quite a task, especially with these beautiful paper flowers because I make greeting cards and I'm obsessed with paper flowers, so this one might go straight to my stash there's over 50 bins so we're gonna have quite uh, a few videos so definitely stay tuned looks like this one's all just glue sticks how freaking cool i honestly didn't even see most of these as we were packing we were just kind of throwing them in Ooh, okay lots of little glitter pop dots and pearl dots also some of my favorites gonna have to go through and see what colors i want to keep the stickles stickles brand And I already know one of our employees is going to want this box, like the actual container, because she got one of the other ones. There was a ton of storage items that we already put out, like storage bins and containers. I don't even know what's in here. What is this stuff? Oh, these are from my paper trimmer. Definitely going to want those if they're new. Looks like that's like a pop socket. No, it's a stamp. <laughs> I thought it was a pop socket. Looks like this is maybe some random goodies. I don't know if we're going to go through all of those right now. What's this? Um... Oh, it was just a gelato container, but looks like she put little foam balls in there. Maybe fake snow. Um, yeah, this is definitely just miscellaneous stuff. It looks like it's a little picture frame. And focus. Some gold glaze. Okay, I'll save that box for later. A bunch of random stuff in there. There's another box. It looks like this might be some sort of heat gun. Yeah. Oh, by Ranger. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. I love that brand. Some more miscellaneous stuff. A little paint palette. What are these? Some sort of plates? I'm not familiar with those spacers. Oh, oh, those popped out. Oh, the, okay, so here's some Sizzix and they're not embossing folders, are they? Yeah, they are. An embossing diffuser. Interesting. I'll have to pop those back in there. Um, there's some more of those. Oh, I believe this is for glue guns so that you could put this on your desk so that, no, maybe not. Maybe it's for stamps. It's not a jelly plate, is it? I don't know. I'm not going to know what everything is. <laughs> um, some safety glasses. Let's crack open this last box. Um, some paper. Ooh, okay. So we've got some metal dies in here from Spellbinders. Actually, I feel like that's empty, but I know there's a ton of dies in some of the other supplies. Not quite sure what those are. Um, a tomato? <laughs> it's not a pincushion. It's hard. I don't know. There's some stamps. Some silver mesh. A little cutting mat in there. Some shaving cream. <laughs> Oak crafters are weird. We have weird stuff, right? Looks like some sort of metal dies, perhaps. I don't know. Some acrylic paint and Liquitex glass beads. I'm not familiar with that one. I know 
I know some Liquitex products and Golden, oh, like the modeling paste. I've used the modeling paste. That's pretty cool. Embossing paste. Does that pretty much do the same thing? I hope these aren't all dried out. And some texture paste. Also have used that before. All right, awesome. So that was bin number one. Like I said, there's about 50 of them, maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. There's a whole bunch. So I will make a video for each one. So definitely stay tuned so you don't miss the next one.